When I was a little boy, one of my favorite things to do was to go outside, gaze in wonder at the night sky, and reach for the stars, hoping that one day I would grab hold of a sliver of starlight. That was then, but today it's 7.58 a.m. on August 18th, 1996, a baby has just been born, son of a white woman and a man whose heritage is mixed somewhere in between French and Puerto Rican, this baby. Raised outside of his culture, taught a language that doesn't match his skin tone. He's already on the outside and he's not even three yet. An outcast, always on the outside looking in, only ever wanting to be on the inside looking out. Isolation, his best friend by mandate. You don't realize it. But when you find out that this brown boy can't speak Spanish, that look of disappointment in your eye is toxic to my soul. But I'm not going to talk about race. No. I'm going to talk about something else. It's time to turn on the light and execute the darkness. You see, you think you know me. You think you've got me pegged, so you put me in a box and make sure I stay there. But you don't like me. Because I won't stay in some stupid little box because I'm a little bit different. Because I might be crazy. Because it actually seems like I might try to be weird. Oh no, no one would ever actually try to be weird, so let's try to fix him without him knowing. You don't get me. You don't know me. When I was a little kid, we moved around a lot. The longest I've ever lived anywhere was four years. So you see, boxes are not my favorite thing. As a matter of fact, they're the object of heartbreak and pain in my mind. Where I come from, everyone has wings. So you see, your boxes are hurting me. Just let me be free, let me be me, but we all know that's not going to happen. Because to you, depression is just being really sad. And then you get mad at me and call it insanity, insanity because I'm chronically sad. You see, we all know that's the real reason why you dumped me. Because I would, because I would convince myself that I'd screwed up. See, you were the answer to all my boyhood prayers. The same little boy who would go out and reach for the stars in hopes to grab hold of a sliver of starlight. You were my starlight. But it's common knowledge to the simple man that starlight can't stay when dark turns to rays of sunlight. Not who you think I am. I'm not some washed up has been who hit his prime um two seconds from never a clock. My name is Zach Perez, not Jesus, so stop expecting expecting me to be. I'm not perfect. I am hurt. I am broken, and on several occasions I have thought about attempting suicide only because people on suicide watch are never allowed to be alone. You see, I love you. I don't even know you, but I love you. Because when I look at you, I feel a small sliver of the love that God has for you. I want you to have a good life. I want you to know what it is to love and have triumph, but those things come with a price. You see, as someone once told me, you can't learn to love the mountaintops unless you have the valleys. But just because you've gotta go through some stuff doesn't mean that you can't have joy at all times. And just because it gets hard doesn't mean that there's breakthrough. It just means that you've got to fight for them. And when you're tired and weak, know that it's okay. Because there is a God in heaven who has already written the victory into your story. You've just got to grab hold and fly. So this is my proclamation, my declaration of war against the forces of darkness who would march on my brothers and sisters. You see, without ending, I will lift my praise to heaven. You can try to take my friends, but I'll just get louder. You can try to shut me up, but I'll just pray harder. You can try to break my body, but my soul don't need it. And you can try to take my life. <laughs> but joke's on you, because I already lost it. 